This is a video about graphing. First, the xy coordinate plane. It's made from a horizontal number line called the x axis and a vertical number line called the y axis. These axes intersect at a point called the origin. So, your point of section is called the origin, and it's represented by the ordered pair 0, 0. Now, on this coordinate plane, we plot ordered pairs, two numbers separated by a comma and closed within parentheses. The first number will be the x-coordinate, the second number will be the y-coordinate. On the coordinate plane, we have four regions called quadrants. Quadrant 1 is in the top right, followed by quadrant 2, 3, and 4 in a counterclockwise fashion. So let's do some graphing practice. I'm going to graph the point 3, negative 7. So my x coordinate is 3, my y coordinate is negative 7. That means on the x axis, we will go right 3, and then we will go vertical movement will be down 7. So 3, negative 7, that is point A. <clears throat> that is located in quadrant 4. Point B, 7, 0. So my horizontal movement, 7, positive 7. And there is no vertical movement, so I have 0. Point C, negative 4, 2. That's left 4, down 2. And that's going to be in quadrant 3. Point B is actually directly on the x-axis. Now let's find out the ordered pair for each of the points starting with point Q. So on the graph we identify point Q, the horizontal movement's negative 2, the vertical movement's 4. So we have negative 2, 4. Point R, we have left 3, so negative 3, and down 3, so also negative 3. Point S, you go right 4 and up 6. So 4, 6 is the ordered pair for point S. Now we're going to move into graphing linear equations. But first we want to figure out what is a linear equation exactly. How do you know if something is a linear equation? Well, that is if the highest power on each variable x and y is 1. So in part a, negative 3x plus 4y equals 2, everything's good. x has a power of 1, y has a power of 1, so the answer is yes, it is linear. Part b, you have y squared equals x minus 5. Since it's y squared, the power of 2 makes it no, not a linear equation. Part c, 2y equals x minus 4. The highest power on x and y is 1 in both cases, so the answer there is yes. In general, we are going to use these solutions to obtain ordered pairs, or use these equations to obtain ordered pairs, by coming up with solutions, x, y, ordered pairs that satisfy the equation. So for instance, in the linear equation, y equals 3 times x. If x is negative 1, I can literally plug in negative 1 for x into the equation to figure out what y is. So y equals 3 times x, or 3 times negative 1 negative 3. So my ordered pair is negative 1, negative 3. That is going to be a point on the line, or a point that satisfies this linear equation. y is 0. So now y equals 3x, we let y equal 0. So 0 equals 3x. Solve the equation, dividing both sides by 3. And it looks like you get 0 equals x. 0, 0 is the ordered pair. Next, y is negative 9, so I have negative 9 equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3, and then I'll get negative 3 equals x. So there's another ordered pair. Linear equations graph lines. So if I was to graph these points, they should form a line. You only need two points to form a line, but 
3 is also a good checks and balances to use. So negative 1, negative 3, 0, 0, and then negative 3, negative 9. Notice all three points line up with each other, connect the dots, and you've graphed yourself a line. Linear equations always form lines when they're graphed. Next equation, y equals 1 half x minus 5. When x is negative 2, what is y? Well, what's 1 half times negative 2 minus 5? What is negative 1 minus 5? That is negative 6. So negative 2, negative 6. <clears throat> what happens when x is 0? y equals 1 half times 0 minus 5. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. x is 0 in the ordered pair, and y is negative 5. What happens when y is 0? Well, what is x? So this will be working backwards. We have 0 equals 1 half x minus 5. Add 5 to both sides. 5 equals 1 half x. Multiply everything by 2. You get 10 equals x. So 10, 0 is the ordered pair. <clears throat> Let's plot these points. Hopefully they do form a line because this is a linear equation, starting with negative 2, negative 6, 0, negative 5, and 10, 0. That's a way out here. All right, so those are the three points. They do form a line. Connect the dots. There you have it. There's a line. Now we use the equation 3x plus y equals 12 to complete each ordered pair. So when x is 0, what is y? Well, 3 times 0 plus y equals 12. 0 plus y equals 12. Guess that means y equals 12. 0, 12 is the ordered pair. <laughs> Part B. x is unknown, y is 6. So we have 3x plus 6 equals 12. Solve the equation here, 3x equals 6, divide both sides by 3, x equals 2. So 2, 6 is the ordered pair. Part C, negative 1 is x, what is the coordinate we need for y to satisfy the equation and find the full ordered pair? Well, 3 times negative 1 plus y equals 12, negative 3 plus y equals 12, Add 3 to both sides, y equals 15. So the ordered pair is negative 1, 15. So that's a little introduction to graphing and how to graph linear equations and complete ordered pairs for them. Thanks for watching.